Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to a Pride Month edition of Drink What You Want. I am Food52's Food resident drinks expert and super gay person, John DeBerry, and I'm coming at you from a relatively calmer kitchen than you've seen me in past months. I have finished writing my second book, uh, which hopefully comes out early 2023, uh, which gives me a lot more time to do things like come up with cool drinks to show you. Uh, so the one that we did for this month uh, is called the Rum Runner. Its uh, origin is from the Florida Keys. It's kind of inspired and it named after the people who did a lot of the uh, illegal importing during prohibition of rum and other spirits from outside the US. And to me, it's a really fun, super fruity, complex, very summery version of uh, Singapore slang. Kind of not a version, but it's sort of like a parallel to a sibling, if you will. Uh, has some similarities and also I love the Singapore sling. So yeah, I'd love to show you how to do it. So let's get started. So this cocktail is a rum-based cocktail and it's got a bunch of other fruit liqueurs in it as well, which should just pour out of the bottle. But for the kitchen, what you need uh, is to make some grenadine, which is super simple and it's a lovely cocktail ingredient. You'll need to juice a pineapple and also just some lime juice. Uh, so we're first gonna do the grenadine because if you make it in the blender, which is my favorite way to do it, uh, it needs a minute to sort of relax and calm down after being violently agitated. Uh, so we're gonna do the grenadine and then get started on everything else. Uh, and you can buy grenadine in uh, like pre-made, uh, which is like fine, but usually it doesn't taste amazing. Uh, my preferred method is to buy 100% pomegranate juice and mix that equal parts with regular sugar. And don't worry, we're not gonna use all of this in the drink. Uh, <laughs> you can definitely freeze uh, grenadine, it freezes perfectly. Also, it's just a great cocktail ingredient or just like a splash of soda or something like that. Um, so it's worth whipping up a batch when you have a chance. So you're gonna wanna blend this on high for at least a minute, which uh, feels like a really long time when you're making a lot of noise in the blender, but it's necessary to get everything dissolved. Actually, the blender will get a little warm and that helps to dissolve things too. So uh, whatever your blender is, turn it on high for 60 seconds at least. All right. And we're gonna be using the blender again in a minute. So what you wanna do is uh, just pour it off into something else to settle down. There's a lot of air that got incorporated into it during this process, so it'll look like kind of a little latte situation, but it'll, it'll start to get clear in just a couple minutes. Gonna juice some limes. Fun fact about me, I'm a pineapple monster and I can eat like a whole pineapple like for dinner. That's just a reasonable dinner for me. It's a great ingredient in cocktails for me. I love the texture it provides. It's a little bit of acidity, some sweetness, uh, and it's just, I just love pineapple in every way. Uh, and so for today, we're gonna juice, juice the pineapple for the juice that we need for the drink. We're gonna cut up some pineapple wedges for the garnish. Looks very pretty. And I'm also gonna show you how you can take a pineapple and make an entire pineapple plant out of one of these. So let's make juice first. So first step, take the, take the top off. Cut the sides. Uh, and you wanna give yourself like a nice piece for the wedges, for the garnish. And then so you're, when you're uh, chopping up the pineapple, you don't need to worry too much about the core or anything like that. Uh, you just wanna make sure it's in small enough pieces so the blender can like actually blend it. If it's too chunky, then it just sort of sits there and does nothing. So uh, chop it up pretty diligently. Um, this is probably more than I'm gonna need to make one of these rum runners, but um, also great to uh, freeze or just drink or whatever. You don't need to do it in the blender for as long as the grenadine because you're not actually making anything dissolve. You just want to get it all super duper liquefied, pulverized. Let's play. Liquefied. Oh yeah. And my, so you'll see it's just sort of like, it's draining, but like, you know, we got places to go. We got things to, people to see, drinks to drink. So the best way to get the solids separated from the liquid is just to, use one of these whisks, oop, 
uh, and don't make a mess, but it's okay if you do. So if you've uh, listened to me, pay attention, and you saved a slice of pineapple for the garnish, uh, you wanna make a nice, it can be a big wedge, it can be a small wedge, it can be a spear. Some people use pineapple leaves as a garnish. I like to make a nice wedge, a nice chunk, and then what you'll do later is you'll spear that with a little bit of cherries. Um, and so, very nice visual accent, it's edible, so win-win. Okay, so before I show you how to make the drink, I promised to show you how to make a whole pineapple plant from the top of a pineapple, and this is it. Uh, so once you've twisted off your pineapple plant top, you have this kind of like little cool situation over here. You wanna pull back the little baby leaves on the bottom, and you'll see little like kind of nubby roots start to show up. It looks almost, it looks kind of gross, but actually it's roots. So you let these dry out for a little bit, like a day, uh, and then the little brown nubbies will eventually become the roots. And just put it in some dirt like this. This is the most recent one I did. And see, it looks like it's dying, but actually there's like a plant coming out of here. That's how they reproduce. And then this is, it's been winter, so it's been slow, but then it gets to be like, gets a little bit bigger and then it gets like, this size and then it can even get like all the way like this whole situation this like big sideshow bob looking looking guy um and they're great house plants and they are very unkillable so highly recommend anyway this isn't a plant channel so we're going to talk about drinks uh and the rum runner it's um a pretty simple drink um ish it's simplified from some of the versions you might find elsewhere like a lot of them call for uh, two kinds of rum. I kind of like want to simplify it. So what you're working with, you just want to have the uh, lime juice, the grenadine that we made, pineapple juice, fresh, whenever possible, but I'm not going to go after you if you buy a can, it's fine. Uh, and then banana liqueur, a dark berry liqueur. It's actually quite hard to find um, blackberry liqueur for some reason right now. So I'm using a black raspberry liqueur. You can use strawberry, you can use Creme de cassis even. So up to you on that. And then a just a, a dark rum that's been aged, uh, whatever your favorite is. Uh, like, so uh, pretty forgiving on the on the measurements and the ingredients. Like you can play around with things a little bit. And yeah, it's a really fun summer drink. So uh, measurements, pretty easy to remember, even though you know you don't have to memorize it. It's a half ounce of grenadine and then an ounce of everything else except for the rum. So you got an ounce of lime juice, which is usually a lot for a cocktail, but given all the sweet ingredients, you kind of need the acidity to balance things out. An ounce of pineapple juice. This will give you a really awesome, nice texture and sort of mellow honey notes. An ounce of banana. Banana's hard to use in cocktails fresh, so actually the liqueur is very nice. An ounce of your berry liqueur. And finally, an ounce and a half of rum. Some recipes call for like an overproof rum, which is like higher than 40% alcohol. If that's, you want something a little hotter, go for it. Um, I like to just use a really standard dark rum for this because it's a lot of stuff, so keep it simple. You fill your shaker with ice, as well as glass. Make sure your shaker is tight. And... I feel like I should be flare bartending right now. I don't know how to do that. And... And then for a garnish, we've got our pineapple and then our candy cherries, which are like the gift of, of life. They're so good. Ah. 
Well, thanks for joining me as always. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, happy Pride Month. I hope you're surrounded by people that love you and that you're safe and having fun. And next month we'll have an even more fun, even more summery cocktail for you. Uh, maybe we'll even be outside. Maybe we'll be on the beach. I don't know. Maybe they'll fly me to Bermuda. We'll see. Um, so if you don't wanna miss it, you have to like and subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment, grow some pineapples, send me your pictures of pineapples because I am a pineapple daddy and it brings me great joy. Happy Pride. If this gets 20,000 views in the first 24 hours, we'll film it outside. Yeah. <laughs>